Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. In this video we will be discussing assignment problem of operation research. So objective of assignment problem is to assign number of resources to an equal number of activities so as to minimize total cost or maximize total profit. Hungarian method is used to solve assignment problem. It's shorter, easier compared to any method of finding optimal solution. We are going to see simultaneously algorithm for solving assignment problem using example. So first example we are having 4 job is to be assigned to 4 workers on 1 to 1 basis. Cost of each assignment is given in rupees 1000. Find optimal assignment of job and worker to minimize total cost. Whereas the question is table is given A, B, C, D jobs and workers. In workers we are having Sunil, Jainil, Anil and Sopnil. The question was asked in November 2018 of University of Mumbai. So let's begin with the solution. First we have to check the matrix is balanced or unbalanced. Balanced means number of rows and columns are equal. Unbalanced means number of rows and columns are not equal. As we can see the number of rows, first row, second row, third row and fourth row and we are having the column A, B, C and D. So total four rows is equal to four column which means the cost matrix is balanced. Second step is to row minimize. So locate smallest element from each row of cost matrix and subtract every element from smallest element of that row. Continue this process for all rows. In first row, that is Sunil, the minimum value was 3. So subtract each and every value from 3. As we can see, the table, so 3 minus 3 will be 0, 6 minus 3 will be 3, 4 minus 3 will be 1, 5 minus 3 will be 2. Similarly, we have to do for the second row, the minimum entry is 5, subtract all other entries with 5. 12 minus 5 will be 7, 7 minus 5 will be 2, 6 minus 5 will be 1 and 5 minus 5 will be 0. In this way we are going to continue the process for all rows. Same process we have to do for column minimization. In the resulting matrix, remember we have to start with the resulting matrix not the matrix which is given in the question. So resulting matrix means this matrix we have to work that we have started in the Step 2. Step 3 is column minimization. Locate smallest element from each column of cost matrix and subtract every element from smallest element of that column. Continue this process for all column. This is called as your column minimization. So in resulting matrix, in this matrix we have to check for each and every column minimum value. So minimum value was 0. So after subtracting each value from 0, we are going to get the same column that is 0, 7, 0, 4. Minimum column entry for second was second one was 2. So subtracting the value we are getting 1, 0, 5, 0. Minimum value was 1 for third column. Subtracting each value from 1, we are getting 0, 0. As we can see, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 2. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. Same here. The minimum value is 0, so after subtracting each value from the 0, we will be getting 2010. 0, 0. Now step 4 is search for optimum solution. So examine the rows successively until a row with the exactly 1 0 is found. Draw a rectangle around this 0 in the given form and cross all and cross out all other zeros in the corresponding column. Proceed in this manner until all row has been examined. If there is more than one row, one zero in any row, do not touch that row. Pass on to the next row. Repeat step A above for the column of the resulting matrix. If a row or column of the reduced matrix contain more than one zeros, arbitrarily choose a row or column having minimum number of zeros. Arbitrarily select any zero in the row or column. So choose and draw a rectangle around it and cross out all zeros in the corresponding rows and column. Repeat step A, B, C until all the zeros have been 
a sign by drawing a rectangle around them or cross if the number of line cross is equal to the order of a matrix then the solution is optimum this all step we have to perform on the resulting matrix that we have got from step 3 column minimization as we can see we are having more than 1 0 in first row we will going to skip that row in second row we can see we are having more than 1 0 again we will going to skip that row in third row we are having only 1 0 so we are examining row wise so we have to column all the zeros of the column entries whenever we are examining the zeros in the row wise we have to cancel out all the entries of the column similarly for the second fourth row we are having again three zeros so we will going to skip that row now same process we have to do for the column now column wise we are having two zero so we will going to skip that for column c again we are having more than one zero we will going to skip that column for column d again we are having more than one zero again we will going to skip that column now what the step c is saying in fourth c if a row or column of the reduced matrix contain more than one zero arbitrarily choose a row or column having the minimum number of zeros so we have to choose arbitrary so we can see in first one we can assigning the zero and we'll going to cancel out all other zeros of that column similarly same process we'll going to do for b1 and we're we'll going to cancel out all other zeros same process we'll going to do for the d part and again we'll going to cancel out all zeros so number of lines that is 1 2 3 4 is equal to order of a matrix that is 4 hence the solution is optimum as we can see the sunil got job at c janil got a job b anil got a job at a and sopnil got a job at d so total cost is 4 7 2 2 equal to 15 that is 15000 Since all the entries are given in terms of thousands, so final answer is your fifteen thousand.